Google Cloud 2023, how to host a website for free hosting setup. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another great hosting tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be discussing how you can use Google Cloud to host a free website. Now this is going to be a very nice and very informational and detailed tutorial so please do make sure to watch it till the end and listen to all the instructions I have to provide you with because if you do that properly then I guarantee you that by the end of this video you're going to properly know how you can use your basic Google Cloud to host a free website in the easiest most efficient way possible. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, first of all, what you're going to do is obviously you're going to go to your Google Cloud hosting. You're just going to write that. Now, once you've written that, you're going to come here, Google Cloud Platform, host your website on Google. Now, you can just go directly on this and everything, but go over here where it says Google Cloud Web Hosting. Just directly go over here just to make you know your life easier. It's going to link you directly to the place. And once you're here, Obviously, you're just going to click on get started for free. So like you can just go and get started for free or you can just go and check the pricing if you want to. So if you were to go in your overview, you can see you can accelerate your digital transformation, whether your business is early in its journey or well on its way to digital transformation. Google Cloud can help solve your toughest challenges. Then obviously you have your solutions where in the solutions you have your industry solutions where you can reduce cost increase operational agility and capture new market opportunities where you have your retail you have consumer packaged goods financial services healthcare manufacturing games telecommunications media and entertainment supply chain government education and much more and obviously you have products in the feature products you have compute engine where which is basically a virtual machine running in google's data center you have your cloud storage cloud sdk cloud sql uh, google kubernetes engine bigquery cloud cdn dataflow operations cloud run anthos and then finally there's the pricings now here it says save money with our transparent approach to pricing google clouds pay as you go pricing offers automatic savings based on monthly usage and discounted rates for prepaid free sources. So basically, if you come here where it says Google Cloud pricing, you can see all the different prices. So start running workloads for free, create an account to evaluate your Google Cloud products perform in real world scenarios. Now customers get $300 in free credits to run, test and deploy workloads. All customers can use 20 plus products for free up to monthly usage limits. So you can get $300 in free credits, 20 plus free products, and then you can also only pay for what you use. With Google Cloud's pay as you go pricing structure, you only pay for the services you use, no upfront fees, no termination charges, and prices obviously vary. You can save up to 57% on the workloads, you can stay control in your spendings and also estimate your cost at the end of the day. So it's a pretty good shop, works great. And then if you come down here, we can also see the use cases for the different features. So WordPress on Compute Engine. The use cases invest are for blogs, simple websites, best for low to medium traffic, open source content management, and stuff like that. So you can like see all of these. So what you're gonna do, like if you like what you see, you're just gonna go and get started for free. And once you've gone and get started for free, it's gonna take you to the sign up and load page. It's going to take you there pretty quickly, pretty basic and easy stuff. Now, once you're over here, it's going to ask you all your details and information, obviously, which best describes your organization. I'm going to go with startup. You can apply for additional credits. It's totally optional. Agree with their terms and then just click on continue. Now, once you've done that, it's obviously going to bring you to the second part of the sign up, which is obviously a totally free trial. And uh, we're just going to wait for it to load us up. So here we are. Step two, payment information verification. You're going to like choose your business type, choose the account type. And once you've done that, you're going to add in your business and then you're going to add in the payment method. For that, you're going to add in your card. You're going to add in your billing address. And once you have done all that, you are going to be logged into your Google Cloud, which is basically this stuff over here. Now, once you're into your Google Cloud, obviously, to like create a free website, 
you're going to go to a few features which you're going to tamper with and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go in your obvious dashboard where you're going to see compute engine. Now once you go in compute engine here it says secure and customizable compute services that let you create and run virtual machines on Google's infrastructure. New customers get $300 in free credits to spend on Google Cloud. All customers get a general purpose machine E2 micro instance per month for free, not charged against your credits. You can also try your compute engine for free. You have your contact sales and everything. Predefined machine types. Start running quickly with pre-built and ready to go configurations. You have custom machine types where you can create VMs with optimal amounts of vCPU and memory while balancing cost. You have spot machines where you can reduce computing costs by up to 91%. You have confidential computing where you can encrypt your most sensitive data while it's being processed. You have your right sizing recommendations where you can optimize resource utilization with automatic recommendations and much, much more. Now basically, you're going to choose the right VM type, which is going to be your virtual machine because the virtual machine is literally what's going to create your website. So choose a correct virtual machine. You can either do the scale out workloads, the general purpose workloads, ultra high memory, compute intensive workloads, most demanding application and workloads or stuff like that. Like you can choose any of them you want. And like once you've chosen the best one for you, you're just going to use it to create a cloud for you or like a host for you. And once you've created that host, you're going to send it to people to create a website on. So learn from customers that are using compute engineering. So Spotify uses Google Cloud and uses the compute engine. Uh, Twitter uses the compute engine. You have the Home Depot people. You have PayPal and you have much more. Like you can see all the different customers. You can also like get assured from different documentations. You can also see the use cases. In the general purpose, You it's like cost optimized. You can save a lot. It's balanced and you can scale out. The workload optimized, you have Compute optimized, memory optimized, accelerator optimized, highest performance CPUs, most memories on computer engine, and highest performance CPUs. Like you can get all that stuff using your compute engine. So, yeah, that's basically all there is to discuss on Google Cloud and web hosting. So, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.